So one of the things that I teach, um, whether it's uh, usually with my one-on-one clients, but sometimes there's been an opportunity in my small groups, um, is being present through physiological awareness and the Holy Spirit. Now, physiological, what does that mean? Um, Let me hone it into scripture. Psalm 46, verse 10 is a a key scripture for me. Uh, Be still and know that I am God. And those uh, who've taken my small groups or who I've um, been able to work with um, and walk alongside one-on-one, they've heard me say that scripture a number of, of times. Why? It's because being still and experiencing the presence of God is what really gives us not only vitality, but really brings a lot of healing and closure for things that we're not aware of uh, that we hadn't finished grieving or, you know, processing. And so that's a key scripture. Um, and so there's a process, um, a technique that I, that I teach um, how to be still because most people, you know, our life are so busy, lives are so busy and we move and um, we're driven. And, um, you know, sometimes just whether it's physically being still and inactive or silencing all of the thoughts that are going around in our mind, sometimes it's just difficult. So um, I'm going to walk you through um, what I do. And actually, I do have a, a, um, I'm going to share my screen because I have a PowerPoint that I want to show you. Okay, so my screen should be shared. Being present through physiological awareness and the Holy Spirit. Step one, forgive me for the typo that I have. I'm going to fix that right now. Um, Step one, exterior awareness. So what I encourage you to do is, um, you know, if you're not sitting down, sit down if you can. Some of you might be listening to this as you drive, but when you go home and get into a, you know, a few minutes where you can sit down and basically just use your five senses to observe the world around you, uh, whether you're inside your house or outside, just your five senses. So first look, you know, if you're outside, look at the trees around you. Sometimes I look up the sky and I take my time and I really observe. Right now I'm in my office. So if I look around, I'm just observing and just taking in what is around me in this space. Then you can go to your smell. What do I smell? Well, I worked out a little while ago. And so I smell the fragrant body lotion that I have on. If you're outside, you may smell um, the, the, you know, the dew of the morning if, if that's when you're doing it. Whatever it is, uh, if you've got your, you know, your one-year-old around you and they need a diaper change, you may smell that. But just use your five senses. Hearing. What do you hear? And just take some time. You can even pause this video. What do you hear? And what do you feel? I feel the jeans that I'm wearing and the sweater. I feel the chair that I'm sitting on. What am I touching? Touching, feeling, same thing. Um, Taste. What did you have for breakfast or lunch, dinner? Right now, I don't have anything on my taste. But just take some minutes and let your five senses get you present with where you are at that moment. That's step one. And before you even begin step one, what I forgot is you do want to inhale, exhale. Before I had my first child, my husband and I took Lamaze and those cleansing breaths are very helpful. Um, So after step one, after you use your five senses, do that again, just inhale and exhale. And that really calms us. Step two, internal awareness. Well, for some of you, this might be a little bit more difficult, but as you practice, you'll be able to do this. And this is what I call really biblical meditation. I know some people, you know, might do other forms of meditation where they practice stillness or centering, um, I don't prefer that. I I believe that a real key ingredient is the and know that I am God part. And so, you know, 
even before you begin, if those of you who have my assessments, um, personal assessments workbook, uh, you'll know that there's a prayer to pray before it, before you do this. Um, you can actually, if you don't have my assessments book, you can go on my, on my website where I have free downloads and I have, I believe I have my assessment, um, a, a prayer that you can pray uh, before you even begin. And, you know, if you can just thank the Lord, you can just, you know, before you begin, you can just say, Lord, I'm with you. I want to be still and I, I want to experience your presence. Um, and then go into step one, the exterior awareness. Move to step two, internal awareness. What do you feel inside? First emotions. And it's interesting that during this time, I'm able to really detect a very slow simmer of nervousness or anxiety sometimes. You might sense, is there any elation, something you're looking forward to? Whatever you sense is fine. And then physical signs of emotion is your heart beating fast, heart palpitations. What is the pace of your breathing? You know, don't try to control it. Just recognize what it is. You know, besides the cleansing breaths that you do before each step, just breathe normally and let that inform you. Wow, I'm breathing really fast because that's going to let you know where there is something, perhaps worry or anxiety or fear. And then listen to your thoughts. You know, pause me for a minute and listen to your thoughts. That may take a few more minutes. What thoughts were you having before you even started listening to the video? What about your belly? Do you sense any tension in your belly? So right now in this step, internal awareness, you're observing the world inside of you. Okay. <sighs> Oftentimes what I tell my clients before you move on to just pause and write down what you felt, because these are items that you want to go back and, and say, Lord, I recognize that there's this slow simmer of worry. I want to process why with you. I want to pray through that. And so, you know, definitely take some notes as far as what you're feeling, what your internal world is telling you, whatever thoughts started coming to your mind, write them down, feel free to pause. And then getting into step three, spiritual awareness. And, you know, we are spirit, soul, and body. And most of us really operate out of our, you know, our, our physical body or our soul, which is the, the interface between our spirit and our body, the soul that is our, our consciousness and, and, you know, our five senses work out of it, our emotions, um, our, our mindsets, um, but our spiritual awareness, we're spiritual beings, that is our eternal self that God uh, imagined and created in his heart. And um, so how do we First, in this place of uh, Psalm 4610, how to become spiritually aware. Um, one of the things sometimes I'll tell my um, um, people that I'm walking alongside is, you know, just speak to your spirit and say, spirit, come forward and or spirit, engage with Holy Spirit. And so I'm going to say that to myself, spirit, engage with Holy Spirit. And then I just have three things, very simple, worship, however you worship just worship. If you lift your hands up, do that. If you like to just bow and be still, do that. Um, if you want to just put on a song for a few minutes, do that. Or if you just want to worship and think in your mind, God, I love you. Lord, I thank you that you're my helper. However you want to worship, do that. And, and be thankful because gratitude is very, very important for our overall well-being. And then go on into engaging the Holy Spirit in prayer, prayer language. Some of you have a prayer language um, in terms of sp speaking in tongues or, or you can pray scripture in your head more intensely, um, your petitions, your, your, your needs. I wouldn't go into intercession, which is praying for others, but you can really go into um, praying scripture or uh, petitions um, 
supplications um, where you need help and just engage the Holy Spirit in prayer, knowing that he is hearing right now. He is right there with you. And then last, but certainly not least, it's being quiet and listening, discerning God's still small voice. Um, for those of you who have little kids running around, I understand and I practiced doing this even when um, there was a pile of toys and my little one, my, my older ones now were little and playing in the, I just practiced ignoring that and discerning his still small voice. And you can learn to do that. Um, and what is his, what is his gentle whisper? Is there any nudge? Is there any thought? Sometimes his voice is, you know, I don't know if I've ever heard his audible voice. I've definitely known he's spoken to me loud and clear in some away, amazing ways, but it's not what I would call audible, but it's, a, it's definitely a thought that was not my own. Um, and God's thoughts will always be encouraging and comforting. If you hear a condemning thought, I will uh, submit to you that is not the voice of God uh, that we love and serve and worship um, and who loves us um, because God said he came not to condemn the world, but that through him uh, we might be saved. And so, um, of course, the more you know the word and uh, the more you'll understand and be able to discern what voice is the voice of the Lord. So I hope that helps you. Step one, step two, step three, begin. And again, if you uh, are interested in um, more of what I teach along these lines, you can make a one-on-one -on -one, um, session with me um, and you can go on either cultivateabetterlife.org or tinaweb.net. But you can also go on Amazon where I have what's called, and, and if you go on my website, tinaweb.net and look at books, you'll see the list of books. But I did um, develop a, a workbook um, full of assessments, personal assessments <clears throat> and prayers um, that tie in this uh, concept of being present and, and processing um, whatever's going on in your life and doing it in a very scriptural way. Uh, to maintain your spiritual, um, emotional, and physical wellness. So uh, you can go on my website and, um, and, and look at that. If you have a question about anything that I've mentioned, if something was not clear, feel free to email me, admin, A-D-M-I-N, at cultivateabetterlife.org.